Hello guys, today's video is gonna be a quick guide about steel connections in Revit. As you can see we've got two universal columns and two universal beams. You, we're gonna go to the steel tab and under connection you're gonna notice that we've only got generic connection and nothing else. If you go and press on the small arrow under connection it's gonna open the structure connection settings and you can see that you've got a list of available connections. It is important to note that in previous versions of Revit, in 2016-2018, for example, you have to download this connections plugin from the Autodesk website. You can find the link in the description below if you want. As you can see, you can select whichever connections you'd like and add them to your current connections in this file. For the purpose of this guide, I'm just going to add all of them. We're going to start by selecting one beam and one column. And if you go to the list of connections, you can see that you've got a huge list of connections now. The connection that we're going to pick is an EOF frame that's bolted with a hunch. You're going to notice that the connection won't appear immediately. And we're going to have to go to the detail level and set it to fine. You'll notice that the connection is now visible in the 3D view. If you go to the south elevation view, you'll notice that the connection won't appear at all, even if we set the detail level to fine. We're gonna go to the view tab under visibility and graphics, model and categories. We're gonna scroll down all the way to steel connections. And under steel connections, we're going to enable, we're going to check all of the boxes. From now on, every time you'd like the connections to appear in a view in your project, in your file, you're going to have to set it the same way by going to the view tab under visibility and graphics. We're going to continue with more connections now. We're going to go back to the steel tab, connections. We, after selecting the beam and column, we're going to add another uh, knee connection. After that, we're going to connect the two beams with an apex hunch. Last but not least, in the same tab under connections, we're going to add a base plate now for both of the columns. If you'd like to add the same base plate to the other column on the other side, you can simply copy and paste it from one column to the other. If we go back to the 3D view, you're going to notice the different connections that we added and the level of details it adds. You can see all of the bolts and plates. Keep in mind that the connections that we used are just a small amount of the total connections that you can find in Revit that can hopefully answer to all of your needs in your projects. If you'd like more information about steel connections, I'm going to go into detail in another video and I'm going to show you how you can edit the details of each connection by modifying the plate size, the connections, the bolt sizing and the placements. If you've got any questions, then feel free to ask in the comment and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it help to be helpful.